Saturday morning in the yard, packing the Highland show. Trade's going out for uh, rye harvest, so uh, we send him a travel long way with that taxi trailer, so uh, we thank him for his business and uh, yeah. And we go out and the sun's shining. There's positivity. It's always good to see our traders even the yard. Clean, service, checked over. Happy Michael, happy days. And uh, I'm hoping a very happy customer there. So, uh, yeah. You see our traders out, you get a picture of them, please send it to us. There we go, look at that. Two more go, up they go. And they're off on a Got a big journey now. But, uh, anyway, happy customer. So Saturday afternoon, and a local farmer, livestock man, pops around. He went out for hydroquel. So where else could he go? Saturday afternoon locally and get oil. I tell you where he comes to. GCS. They're good. Supported GCS. Supported by local farmers, and we are supporting local farmers. How's that? Right. We're going to crack on. I'm dirty already. Anyway, going to um, do a bit of shop last. We've got a tanker or shop last for um, one of our own farm jobs. So I'm going to show you a bit about how we shop last. So for those who know the principal shop lasting, basically um, we fire by air at high speed, very tiny granules. Um, and we use the recycled material for that. And... It just basically takes the paint off, back to metal. So uh, quite a simple process, but by God, it's a very effective process. So uh, I'm gonna go and do this tank. The tank I wanna do, it's a, um, we've taken it off of its chassis, so it's actually a Bowser. Um, and I'm gonna take the paint off that. So we've taken all the name of the serial number plates off it, things like that, so it doesn't get, they don't get um, damaged. But we'll take this back, ta we'll take this back to bare metal. So uh, we've got a compressor around the corner. Very big air compressor, that's these air, both those airlines in the building. This last spot here, there's two airlines come in, they feed this air part and they mix it with these fine granules, which then um, put it out through this hose to uh, set the paint off. See what we do. Here's the tank that I shot blasted this morning. Um, it's a 2000 litre Abbey tank. Um, it's already been cleaned out, except in internally. Um, it's been shot blasted. Now I'm just going back, and now I'm going over it with a sander just to get a smooth finish, just to take off any um, um, slight imperfections. Just trying to get as smooth as finish as we can. Just try and make, make it so we get a better finish on it. So uh, that's where we are so far. We'll step back actually and get rid of the picture. That's where we've got to so far. So uh, I'm now going to start and uh, put a coat of primer on it. Hang on, we've got the Hulk. <laughs> Never ask an employee to do something. You can't do so. Look, face it. Yeah, you painted it and yourself. It looks good. It does. Yes, yeah, good, well done. So, I'm proud. Oh my god, you've got green hair. I know. <laughs> Better than grey though, isn't it, really? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's the tank painted green. I'll show you that in a minute. I think my hair has also gone a shade of green. I'm quite, what's, what's better, green or grey? I'm not quite sure, but uh, my staff can't really moan. I don't they expect them to do things that I don't. So uh, I started my business from the beginning. I don't mind getting stuck in and doing it again. So uh, it's a challenging time. There we go, anyway, look, you can do it to your own. So all those people that I sit around and think doing not a lot and just taking videos, how wrong you are, I'll tell you now, how wrong you are. But uh, would you have it any other way? <laughs> Probably, yeah. All right, we're back at Leeds. Back at uh, new auctions again, again. We seem to come here quite a bit. Go 
get some paperwork. Just a, another day at work at the other auctions. Lorries all being loaded. Bit of a tight fit there, two teddy handlers in the trailer, but they're in. No way. Like More teddy handers here being dismantled, ready for uh, loading. What a um, it's just never ending, never ending. Not sure whether the stuff's just coming in or just going out, but no doubt that will become apparent at a later date. Here's a massive Fergie tractor that's uh, either coming or coming from foreign lands, I suspect. It's, uh, One big uh, continuous load of machinery is coming in and out. Hmm. The infrastructure and the planning behind this business, I find it mind blowing. Mind blowing. You see the amount of kit here coming and going. It's colossal. I think it's a real credit to the people behind Euro Auctions because this isn't just the only sale they do, they have sales around the world. And so this isn't just happening here today, this is happening in probably, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 other sites around the world as we speak. Me loaded and ready for home. Got a nice load of uh, tanks and barrels on there. We'll get home to be refurbished. So, uh, not working, not work involved with getting them uh, to a good saleable position. Um, internally cleaned out, etc., etc. Anyway, there we go. We've got a load. Let's go home. When you want to load a digger onto a lorry, I think it's quite simple, really. You just pick it up with a fork truck. There you go. You just pick it up. Oh, the big mystery that we have here on the farm. See, so when I come back to the low loader and I park it in the yard, after I go off and do other bits and pieces, I come back and it's unloaded. I'm just, just caught the man doing it quietly, look. The mystery is solved. Paul comes out here and just unstraps it all and unloads it for me. Quite quietly, no fuss, no grief. No. Just get on with it. Just get on with it. It's easy, isn't it, Paul, like that? So there we go, the mystery is now solved. So we've got to get this lot off. A few more jobs for someone to do. So Chris, as a percentage, here we go. If we do this, we ask our viewers this. So as a percentage, how are we feeling today? All right, yeah, okay. No, as a percentage, oh, all percentage. right. Uh, as a, all right, doesn't work as a percentage. 45. No, 90. 90%? Yeah, we need your We need your but that's about 10%. 90%, that's cool. 90% is good. So, uh, right. I'm going to head out to... Uh, new patio area and uh, see how Paul's getting on. Right, coming down here. I think Paul's collecting machinery here. Look. Takes two tractors and a tenny hand and now to lay a patio. <laughs> and there he is, laying down on the job. Look at that. Anyway, so what do we think of this patio area now? I'll step back a bit from it. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. What, what a bit of, what some workmanship there, look at that. All laid in, all pointed up. A nice brick edge around the outside. <coughs> As a credit to you, Paul. Thank you. Absolute credit to Paul. Now we put a brick wall through there. 
so we can step up then we're going to put another layer of slabs into here that was Paul's idea I'm not very good at creative design but that was Paul's idea he's done that so that we can uh, have like a the what's a better word the cooking area or whatever area up there so uh, I'm extremely pleased with the outcome of this um, we are got the idea say I think as I said earlier on is to put a fire pit in here some big pebbles underneath it so we can sort of when I get even older I can sit out here and have a look at me uh, pond so uh, so there we go what do you think of uh, Paul's workmanship for the patio that at the moment is in the middle of nowhere. So let's know what you think about that. I think he just takes Paul's back to his youth of when he used to work in Kent on the farm. And, uh, that's, his, uh, that's his wheelbarrow. Which makes a lot of sense to use, doesn't it? Like that. It keeps your tractor going, doesn't it? Paul's back on mixing the cement. I've got to ask him, Paul, I forgot to ask you, how are you feeling today as a percentage? Good. 95%. 95%. Wow. That's cool. All right, got myself in a bit of a pickle. I'm overcommitting myself on tractors for something. Made a bit of an error. Miss, I couldn't add up. Anyway, so uh, I brought an SOS school out to, to uh, the Burden Group, Links and Geo Motors. And uh, can you help me? And they have very kindly got me out of a hole. So this is what dealerships and I think people seem to be forgetting these days. People work with people. And Links and Geo Motors, look. There's a van are incredibly supportive of GCS and GCS machinery and help us grow and that's why we buy from them and I can't express enough of my gratitude for them helping me out again it's not the first time they've got me out of trouble it's the second time probably the second or third time and um, yeah absolutely fantastic so uh, thank you very much for them I'm going to take this T2710 to somewhere get myself out of a hole so uh thank you very much for uh, lynx motors and the burdens group for helping me out again thank you we're now at the end of june um the cereal harvest is whomping head is coming along fast we see barley turning we see all seed rape beginning to turn and we also watch <laughs> other people starting to spray their all seed rape off so all of a sudden the um i think it's just almost like a mental panic starts to set in i mean we are very very busy with hire very busy we've got no tractors that are not here that no tractors here that aren't out working we've got no um telehandlers that aren't out on hire other than new ones which are just about to be delivered trailerized we have got an awful lot of our trailers already out on hire doing um peas maize um sorry peas silage rye and industrial work some um ad plant work things like that so uh we don't got to start getting trailers into into cereal mode so this week we're going to start getting some traders out to farms. Um, we've got farms that want to start their harvest on the 8th of July. So we've got this week, we've got to start getting traders. So we've got to allocating traders. We've got to start getting sided sides off of trailers. So um, it's sort of a bit of a, it all starts to, reality starts to kick in and we've got to start getting traders out onto farms ready. So uh, yeah, we've got a lot going on, a lot to do. Um, yeah, an awful lot to do. But anyway, that's what keeps us busy, doesn't it? So, uh, hmm. All right, well, we've got a 95 and a 90% from two of our staff members who are working today. So, that's good. So, anyway, how are you feeling? Please put the boxes below. What is it answer the percentage? How are you feeling today? Uh, well, anyway, it's Saturday here. We've got, I'm doing two online auctions we're bidding on, um, which has taken quite a bit of uh, my time. I'm also trying to get our, our month-end accounts out for all our higher customers. So today being, uh, well, tomorrow being the last day of the month. So we're going to get that done, to try and get that done today. 
Um, we also want to go and buy some trees that we want to plant around by the lake if we get time this afternoon. So, uh, yeah, plenty to do. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please click and subscribe um, or ring, ring the little bell and you'll get notifications of what we're up to. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.